10 years ago this week, Google launched the Accelerated Mobile Pages, or AMP, project. So people were consuming more web content on their mobile devices, and AMP was designed to improve the mobile web experience, be fast, flexible, beautiful, and include compelling and effective ads. Because, and it was clearly meant to be a competitor to Facebook Instant Articles, which had launched in May. This shows full articles in the Facebook mobile app, so people never have to leave the app to get the articles. And there's also the Apple News app, which had previously launched. Uh, again, they preferred special formats, and people read the news in the app. And so Google said, well, this allows the publisher to continue to host their content on their own website while allowing for efficient distribution through Google's high-performance global cache. And Google leaned into this. Uh, they announced this in October 2015. It came to Google Search in 2016, and they expanded where these AMP articles showed not just in the top stories, but eventually in the main section of the mobile search results. There were concerns from publishers that despite this being on the open web, this was giving Google too much power to shape the mobile web. But of course they used it anyway because they wanted their post to be seen. And Google was actually highlighting these AMP articles in the top stories section. It didn't actually last very long. In 2021, Google Search shifted to using page experience signals in site ranking. This is things like the core web vitals, page loading, mobile friendliness. If it had HTTPS security uh, and lack of intrusive interstitials, that means really intrusive ads, and they said, oh, well, it's no longer required for an article to use the AMP format to appear in the top stories carousel. So of course, <laughs> you know, Twitter stopped supporting it. Publishers stopped bothering to do this because this was the whole separate format they had to use. And if it wasn't necessary to be highlighted, why do this? 